should never. You and I have one down there. I'll have one on my left. Welcome to episode four of Co Carp Angling. We are down at Creedy Lakes in Devon. Um, we got here about eight o'clock last night. We've had three between us so far. Uh, this one this morning coming in at 29.4. Just down on my margin to the right. Nice big long fat common. So hopefully there's a few more to be had. The weather's a lot nicer today. Freezing last night. Um, like the mats actually iced over last night, which is quite surprising, but hopefully we'll have some. This is the tactic I'm going with, is I'm just using my bait and spoon to ship out. I'm going with a 12mm manila boilie topped with one of the 8mm northern special pop-ups. And out with that I'm just putting some pellet crumb and chopped, chopped boilie, that's what's done me the couple of fish so far. I've got one down my margin to the right, and then one eight pole lengths out towards that bivy over there. So, hopefully, a few more. fish now between me and Oakley at Creedy. Uh, this one just pushing 20 I think but Oakley had a nice 29. Lake's fishing pretty slow. I managed this one off the island just in front of me in a little bit. We'll go through the rigs, the swims and everything like that. Fish is lively because he's been sat in the mat in this net for a while. There he is of a bar of gold. But yeah we're gonna slip him back, get some photos and then Hopefully, have a few more. It's a lot warmer this evening, so fingers crossed we can have a few in the night. Sure. Right, well, this is the evening update. Um, nothing else has really happened from what you've seen. We're on four fish now. Um, Oakley's dad's lost one as well. Had a run, hit into nothing. But the, all the fish have been on the surface today. It's been pretty hard, to be honest. Nothing's really, even people around the lake, nothing's really been out. Um, I mean, the weather's looking a lot better for tomorrow. Overcast, mild. So hopefully they're not on the surface as much and they're on the bottom. It's meant to be a lot warmer tonight as well. It's quite, I think, Got to as low as one degrees last night, didn't it? Something like that. It was cold. Um, but there's a lot more cloud coverage tonight, and it's meant to stay at around sort of eight, seven degrees. So hopefully, that means some something will happen. Um, yeah, it's been a very quiet day, just watching fish cruising about on the top. To be honest, and they're not interested in biscuits either. No interest at all. Mm, but so. we're going to the night pretty confident now because it's a lot warmer. So if we have anything in the night, we'll let you know. If not, then we'll do an update in the morning, go through rigs and bait, things like that. So yeah, if not, we'll see you in the morning. See you on the next fish, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good arts. So I've just had another one. Nothing big, probably like there. 13, 14 pound. I'll get it out, I'll give it away, but I'll probably just slip that one back and get the rod back out. But it's a very still night. Loads of fish boshing down the very far end. But yeah, no, it's nice to have one. Oh, the fucking things just swam out the net. Well, that was that then. Don't mind. 
Twenty-five-two. Yes. Result. Right then. Five o'clock in the morning. Just had this twenty-five pound two common down the margin. Hell of a fight. Twenty minutes to get him in. Yeah, long, deep fish. Hell of a wrist on his tail. So no wonder they fight so hard in here. Yeah, there's plenty more fish boshing down there, so hopefully it won't be too long before we get another one. Got the rod out, lovely. Again, live system. White NS1 pop up on top like a snowman. We'll show you that a bit later on. But yeah, mega fish. Buzzing. Right then guys, it's half one now on the Friday afternoon. We've moved swims as where we were fishing, I was in the swim next to the old boathouse swim and it was just, it just died off down there, no signs of fish. I picked one up late last night um, and then Connor moved up to the swim to my right for the night and had two down in this corner and they were boshing up like mad down here. So, I've moved in here, I've uh, got rod fishing sort of about there, and then one tight to that fence post you can see over there. Uh, that gang's moved down here now, Connor's in that corner swim. And then Dad's one in the one on the right, so hopefully we'll be in for a few because they're probably churning up down there. And then... Cheers, bud. <laughs> so we finally had this um, 18 pound common. Uh, rods have been out about half an hour now. Um, came from the right hand rods, fishing <laughs> mid <-water. laughs> into the channel. Um, yeah, so hopefully we have some more. Fish number five in the net. Wind's blowing down here quite nicely now. Just coming off that margin spot over there. All right, fish number five for me now. Coming from the far margin over behind me. Um, yeah, nice little, nice little comment. So get the rod back out and hopefully have some more. Yeah. Ooh, you prick. <laughs> right then. Just had this one after the move, first one for me. Lost one sadly not too long ago. This one 20 pound on the nose. Again, like most of the fish in here, commons. You've probably got about 30, 40 mirrors in here. But yeah, sp screamed off. But yeah, mega fish, hopefully a few more. Plenty showing down here, so yeah. Double. Same time as Dad's hooked one. Get in. 13 fish land. Right, fish number seven for me now. Uh, 15 in total for us three. Um, moves definitely, definitely paid off. Um, I've had four fish just, we, I think we set up around one o'clock in, in these swims, so I've had four fish since then, so definitely, definitely worth the, the move. 
Uh, just had this one on my on my margin spot, as you can see in the background. Um, yeah, ripped off again. And I'm in again. Get back to where he lands this one. Right, fish number eight now, down the same margin. Um, literally five minutes after recasting. As you can see from the last the last video, holding up the last fish, the rod, rod ripped off and gave us this nice 25 pound common. So yeah, hopefully the night will bring some more. Right, so just had another one, fish number nine for me now. I don't know, probably 15, 16 pounds, but absolute one tone from the margin spot over by that post again. Um, yeah, so no sign of the action showing up yet. So hopefully, some more to come. After a move to the other end of the lake, I've managed this one after 20 minutes. There you go, 19 pound two. So, yeah, happy days. Hopefully, a few more times. Maybe a few more fish coming out this end. I had nothing last night. Oakley had one more smaller one. But, yeah, rod's been out 15 20 minutes. It's really angry. 19 pounder has ripped off. So, fingers crossed few more tonight been dead up here today um winds finally pushing back down here a few are starting to show so just the one today about 10 pound just watching the best team in london and yeah hopefully we have a few more so come down here with just a solid bag as fish are topping in this corner now as connor's moved out they've moved back in <laughs> Uh, luckily he's having a few down there, but just thought I'd try my luck in here as there's a few showing along that far margin. So hopefully that one goes screaming off. Well, this little bay, we're fishing just here for the night. And this little bay behind this little island here, you can see why I'm picking them off the front of this sort of little channel, because the fish are definitely holding up in here. Don't know why, because it's about a foot and a half deep. But there's quite a few fish. You know, there's one actually swimming just down there, just cruising out now. Yeah, there's does it view and I'm literally fishing a rig, sort of so sort of like here. So as they come in and out of here. I'm hoping to pick them up, but you can see signs of fish all over there. Bubbles, tail patterns. What a hundred, but hopefully they hold in here. I could keep picking them up as they come in and out through the night. Hopefully it won't be too much longer for a... Get my third, third fish from this swim. There you go. That's how shallow it is. Fish are just moving around and then just churning it up. Well, I'll say hopefully not too long now and We'll have another carp to show you. Right guys, after that fish, chuck the rod back out, no more than five minutes later. Seen a fish tailing up on the margin spot. Absolute screamer. I just had this, very angry and very lively. 23 pound common, that doesn't want to chill out. Try and get him up. So that's two fish in this swim for me, in, Probably 25 minutes of fishing in here. There he is. Real fat belly on this one. But yeah, 23 pound common. Yeah, I mean, 20 minutes fishing. New swim just shows get on the move, always worth it if you know there's fish feeding there. And yeah, real angry one this, so we're getting back. Hopefully, have another quick bite.
Right guys, I don't know when you can see me, but I've just had my temp fishing session now. 20 pound on the nose. Again, like most of the fishing here, a very lively, common. Yeah, buzzing. Nine o'clock now, so plenty of time left. Me and Oak actually said at the beginning of the session we wanted 25 fish as a target. This is fish number 22 between us now. So I reckon it's going to be quite a busy night down this end. Now I've moved, plenty of fish moving around. So yeah, fingers crossed. A few more fish tonight. It's just gone two o'clock in the morning. The right hand rod out, flicked out into midwater, just ripped off. With this. 21 pound six common. Apologies for the last little bit of video for the last fish I had. I'm vlogging on my own now, so it's a bit difficult, but makes it a little bit harder. But yeah. Warm pounder. Happy days, that's four fish in this swim now. No. Yeah, four fish in this swim. Three twenties and a nineteen. So buzzing. Hopefully. Time for a few more still. Away, just the rods left out. Fairly quiet night for me down there. Uh, lost one about three o'clock this morning. Uh, apart from that, nothing to report for me down there. Um, fairly mild night actually, so I'm surprised nothing, nothing happened. But yeah, I think Connor had one. Yeah, I had the one that you seen a minute ago. That was it at two o'clock this morning. We got what? 45 minutes left now, so the rod's got to be in and we're off home. Obviously, we set a target for 25 fish, so we're on 23 now. Which is shit. <laughs> it's, it's annoying when you set a target and you're two fish off. Especially after the first 48, we was on seven fish. And the last, what, 48, 30, 36 hours, 48 hours, you've had however many that is. 20. No. Obviously not. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, but rods are still out, and the sun's, well, where I am now is right in the sun, so I'm hoping the fish push up here again, get on my feed, and manage to nick, well, maybe two more before we go, but I don't know. It's quite, so it's still pretty fresh, so. But no, it's been a good session anyway. I mean, 23 fishing, what, three nights basically. It's been pretty good. Eight is it eight twenties or nine twenties? Uh, I can't remember. I did twenty nine, two twenty fives or three twenty fives. I can't even remember to be honest. We'll do a little count at the end. Put it on the screen how many twenties we've had. Yeah. We'll work it out. Quite a few nineteens and eighteens as well. We'll put up all the photos at the end of the world of the fish. So. Yeah. All white fish falling on live system, white NS1 uh, pop ups on top. And all of mine have been on Manila this session because I ran out of live system in the Wendy. So I've had mine on 12 mil Manila topped with a little 8 mil white NS1 as well. Um, usually fish mesh, mesh sticks in here, but it's quite choddy at the moment. So just been fishing foam. As I've been fishing in the margins, so all the shit from the trees has been falling off, so just been fishing in foam, so yeah, next video now will be in how long is it now? Just over just over three weeks. Three so weeks. We're going to Dream Lakes in France. So that'll be a good a good one to stay to look out for. Yeah. Lake two in France for a week. Um fishing well as well. Doing a lot of these big fish. So it'd be, it'd be nice to go from catching, you know, some of the fish we've had here, like 15, 16 pounders here, to go and catching the average of their sort of like mid 30s, up Less. the 30s, so. Unless we blank. Well. Or if they're spawning. 
That's the other worry, isn't it? Yeah. Because middle of May. Yeah, it's a rushy tape. To be fair, we forgot about that when booking it, didn't we? <laughs> we were hoping we'd be lucky and get hit them sort of a week or two before they spawn. Because out there at the minute, it's still cold. So... Same sort of temperatures as here at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, cold I can't nights. see anything spawning just yet, but obviously in France, all it takes is two weeks of mid-20s and that's it. Yeah, it's spawning, so... But, but yeah, that, that's... Well, unless we have any, another fish, that'll probably be it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Go mm. and get all the gear sorted for France, isn't it? Yeah. Just remember to give it a like, subscribe, watch out for the video in France, because hopefully that'll be a banger as well. Fingers crossed. So uh, until France, we'll see you. We'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Goodbye.